Today we are celebrating our 16th annual Celebrating Words Festival and specifically our drive-through experience event which includes art installation for our Trauma to Transformation program and our Young Warriors program including giving away free books, literature um, and ensuring that our community has access to literature for everyone. We're starting off with a really cool, really important exhibit that was put together by collaboration with the Young Warriors and Christy Sandoval. Um, the Young Warriors pretty much painted, you know, these panels that expressed what they felt going through a pandemic last year and going through, you know, the uprisings with racial injustice and addressing all the things that were coming up, you know, in 2020. Um, Christy Sandoval has kind of like a, an installation that addresses how we can address mass incarceration, how we can approach it in a way that it's not about harming people, it's not about punishing people, but really it's, you know, taking this approach of care. We also are giving out posters and coloring books. The posters are by two international artists, uh, Maldito Perrito and Gina Barranco. We also have a coloring book that we put together. It's our very first coloring book. I'm really excited about that. We also have our book giveaway, which this year we reached a thousand books. It's, you know, it was our goal from the very beginning and we're super proud to have reached it. Thank you to all the sponsors that, you know, have helped us get here. Um, and yeah, and so everyone that comes through here gets a book and gets to take a book home, art home, all kinds of goodies, and really just a memorable experience in general, you know? So for me, the highlight um, is going to have to be the art from the youth. Youth highlighting their experience of 2020, so everywhere from, you know, online work or online school to the different movements that happened this past year and the need for, you know, change in our community and just seeing the youth, you know, depict that is beautiful. This work is really important. We believe, you know, in the power of the arts um, as a way to transform, to heal, to inspire, right? I think Tia Chuchas continues to do this work. We've been doing this work for 20 years. We're just excited that people are, are still interested. People are, are seeking it out. Like there's a line going all the way to Glen Oaks right now. Um, and people are waiting. They're patiently waiting to be a part of this experience. So I just want to say that this is so important for the community. This is a work of love, of passion, for the arts, for literacy, and I'm just really happy that people, there's a really good response from people, and the line is really long for this experience, and I'm just really happy that this is coming to life. 